Cristiano Ronaldo. He goes nose to turf. He's got a penalty. Oh no! <laughs> Cristiano. He was booked for taking his shirt off. And now he's being booked. Hey guys, today we will tell you the rules of football. Basically, this video is for those who does not know the rules of football. Let's pop into it. The aim of football is to score more goals than your opponent in a 90 minute playing time frame. The match is split up into two halves of 45 minutes. After the first 45 minutes players will take a 15 minute rest period called half time and then the second period of match will resume and at the end of the 90 minutes referee also gives the injury time which was wasted in the match. Injury time will be given according to the referee's decision. Every player have to wear studded football boots and shin guards and team's goalkeeper have to wear the gloves, including boots and shin guards. If the player is not wearing these equipments then the player can be suspended from the match. To score a goal, the ball must go into your opponent's goal. The whole ball needs to be over the line for it to be a legitimate goal. A goal can be scored with any part of the body apart from the hand or arm up to the shoulder. The goal itself consists of a frame measuring 8 feet high and 8 yards wide. To win the game, you have to score more goals than your opponents. If the scores are level after 90 minutes, then, the game will end as a draw apart from in cup games, where the game can go to extra time which have two periods of 15 minutes and, if the scores the still level then game can go to a penalty shootout to decide the winner. Players must use their feet to kick the ball and are prohibited to use their hands, apart from goalkeepers who can use any part of their body within the 18 yard box, each team will get the five chances to score, if the scores will stay on level then each team will get other five chances. A match consists of two 45 minutes halves with a 15 minute rest period in between. Each team can have a minimum of 11 players including goalkeeper and the game can be start with seven players. The ground must be made of either artificial or natural grass. The size of pitches is allowed to vary but must be within 100 to 130 yards long, and 50 to 100 yards wide. The pitch must also be marked with a rectangular shape around the outside showing out of bounds, two 6-yard boxes, two 18-yard boxes and a center circle. A spot for a penalty placed 12 yards out of both goals and center circle must also be visible. Each team can name up to seven substitute players. Substitutions can be made at any time of the match with each team being able to make a maximum of three substitutions per side. In the event of all three substitutes being made and a player having to leave the field for injury the team will be forced to play without a replacement for that player. Each game must include one referee and two assistant referees it's the job of the referee to act as timekeeper and make any decisions which may need to be made such as fouls, free kicks, throw-ins, penalties and added on time at the end of each half. The referee may consult the assistant referees at any time in the match regarding a decision. It's the assistant referee's job to spot offsides in the match throw-ins for either team and also assist the referee in all decision-making processes where appropriate. For fouls committed a player could receive either a yellow or red card depending on the severity of the foul. The yellow is a warning and a red card is a dismissal of that player. Two yellow cards will equal one red. Once a player is sent off then they cannot be replaced. If the player fouled on penalty area then the referee will give the penalty as a reward to the other team, 
or if the player fouled outside of the box at any spot, then the referee will give the free kick from that spot where the foul happened. If a ball goes out of play off an opponent in either of the side lines, then, it is given as a throw in. If it goes out of play off an attacking player on the baseline then it is a goal kick. If it comes off a defending player it is a corner kick. Offside can be called when an attacking player is in front of the last defender when the pass is played through to them. The offside area is designed to discourage players from simply hanging around the opponent's goal waiting for a pass. To be onside they must be placed behind the last defender when the ball is played to them. If the player is in front of that last defender then he is deemed to be offside and free kick to the defending team will be called. A player cannot be caught offside in their own half so, we hope you enjoyed. Please drop us a like down below, it took a lot to make it. Share this video to those who are still not familiar with soccer rules. Encourage others to play football. We will upload an interesting video soon. And please subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting Indian footballers. Team Soccer Effects signing out.